Hi, I'm Bill Hogrew with Rural Community Assistance Partnership. And we're here at the wastewater treatment plant's primary treatment facility. This is where the water comes from after it's preliminarily treated. This is the primary clarifier where the water comes in from the headworks. In the headworks, we removed most of the material that's heavy and, and easy to screen out, but we still need to do more treatment. As you can see, the water is rather turbid, rather cloudy, and it still has some material floating on top. So in the primary clarifier, we slow the flow down to almost nothing so that any material that's left that will settle will settle out in this basin. It settles to the bottom and there's a rake that travels around inside the clarifier, scrapes all the material to the center where it can be sent to our sludge handling facilities, which we'll discuss later. The clarified water flows over the weir, which runs around the perimeter of the tank and allows for an equal flow from the center of the tank to the outside of the tank. You can see that there are V-notches cut in the weir, so it's easier to level it and allow the flow to flow evenly out of the tank. Once the solids are settled out in the primary clarifiers, we call it primary sludge. It's pumped by the primary sludge pumps in the pump building on my right into the solids handling facilities, which starts with the sludge thickeners which are the round tanks on my left. This is the primary sludge pump station. Let's go inside and take a look. When the solids settle in the primary clarifier, they're below grade down at the bottom of the tank. We can't flow them by gravity to further treatment for solids, so we have to pump them. That's why this room is full of pumps for scum and for sludge to get it to that next treatment process. Scum is the material that floats to the top of the clarifier and is scraped off with the rake. And sludge is the material that settles to the bottom of the primary clarifier. Primary pumping station takes effluent from the primary clarifiers, the water that's coming over the weirs, pumps it up to the secondary treatment process. You only need that if you don't have gravity flowing between the primary treatment and the secondary treatment. Some treatment plants are designed without primary treatment so that the secondary treatment handles all of the organics removal. Organics are compounds that are in the wastewater. Now remember, wastewater is human waste, compounds that we haven't utilized in our bodies, and so we discharge them in our waste. And when they're discharged into the environment, they'll degrade. And when they degrade, they use up oxygen. So if you put wastewater straight into a stream, it would use up oxygen, which the fish need to live, and you'd end up killing fish because of that. The wastewater treatment plant does exactly the same thing as happens in a stream, but it does it in tanks and in a controlled environment so that we can treat our wastewater and protect the environment and protect uh, human health.